and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from Sea Fever, selected poems by John Macefield. As the title implies, a lot of these are about the sea. Uh, evidently, his aunt thought he read too many books. She was like, bringing him up and sent him to sea to sort of get rid of this silly reading habit that he had. Didn't work, did it? Anyway. We all love a pirate. We know real pirates aren't really very nice people. But, you know, whether it's Captain Pugwash or Captain Jack Sparrow, we all sort of love a pirate. Uh, this is a poem about pirates. But there is a certain layer of uh, reality about them. <clears throat> this is not the prettiest poem in the world, but I thought it was rather good. It's called A Ballad of John Silver. So this is a ballad of John Silver by John Macefield. We were schooner rigged and rakish with a long and lissom hull and we flew the pretty colours of the crossbones and the skull. We had a big black Jolly Roger flapping grimly at the fore and we sailed the Spanish water in the happy days of yore. We had a long brass gun amidships like a well-conducted ship. We had each a brace of pistols and a cutlass at the hip. It's a point which tells against us, and a fact to be deplored, but we chased the goodly merchantmen and laid their ships aboard. Then the dead men fouled the scuppers, and the wounded filled the chains, and the paintwork all was spatterdashed with other people's brains. She was boarded, she was looted, she was scuttled till she sank, and the pale survivors left us by the medium of the plank. Oh, then it was, while standing by the taffrail on the poop, we could hear the drowning folk lament the abs chicken coop. Then having washed the blood away, we had little else to do than to dance a quiet hornpipe, as the old sorts taught, taught us to. Oh, the fiddle on the foxhole, and the slapping naked souls, and the genial down the middle Jake, and curtsy when she rolls, with the silver seas around us, and the pale moon overhead, and the lookout not a looking, and his pipe bowl glowing red. Ah, the pigtailed quidding pirates, and the pretty pranks we played, all have since been put a stop to by the naughty board of trade. The schooners and the merry crews are laid away to rest a little south of sunset in the islands of the blessed. Thank you. Can I say, do not prove of any of this kind of behaviour, but it was still a jolly poem. For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs>